I say to you quite tastelessly that more women died on the back seat of Senator Edward Kennedy's car at Chappaquiddick than ever died in a gas chamber at Auschwitz. It is my pleasure to introduce Professor Deborah Lipstadt. Whatever the reasons that people become deniers, they often have an agenda which they won't admit to. Why do you continually denigrate the work of David Irving? You can have opinions about the Holocaust, but I won't meet with anyone who says the Holocaust didn't happen. Professor Lipstadt, I am that David Irving. And I've got a thousand dollars to give anyone who can show me a document that proves the Holocaust. I will not debate you, not here, not now, not because ever. Because you've got. Well. Irving's just sent us notice of a suit to be filed in the High Court. Miss Lipstadt has done very real damage to my professional existence. What did you say about him? I think I called him a liar and falsifier of history. You better get yourself lawyered up. A man accuses you of something and it's your job to prove he's wrong? In the US, there's a presumption of innocence. Yeah, not in the UK. This case is happening to you, but it's not about you. Auschwitz is at the very center of Holocaust belief, so it's at the very center of Holocaust denial. There were no gas chambers anywhere at Auschwitz. But here is one of the largest killing machines in human history. You know what it is, it's how we prove what it is. <laughs> What if we lose? Suddenly it becomes acceptable to say the Holocaust didn't happen? The word denial is particularly evil. Well, freedom of speech means you can say whatever you want. The phrase is a poison to which there is no antidote. What you can't do is lie and expect not to be accountable for it. There are no holes in that roof. Therefore, there never were any gas chambers. No holes, no Holocaust. He wanted a catchy phrase, he's got it. Where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Not all opinions are equal. But I'm not a racist. The earth is round, the ice caps are melting, and Elvis, it's not a lie. I'm not attacking freedom of speech. I've been defending my right to stand up against someone who wants to pervert the truth.